when and how can we assess the feasibility of an impact evaluation? And would it be possible to have a real impact evaluation uh, assuming RCTs or are there constraints and we should be realistic and conduct an evaluation um, assessing the OECD DEC impact criteria? So the question is about how can we and when do we assess the feasibility of conducting an impact evaluation? Um, there's, a, there's a technique called um, evaluability assessment, um, uh, which can be a really useful thing to do as part of this step one, deciding whether to conduct an impact evaluation. And you can find information about that um, on the bettervaluation.org um, site. It has a, a new, we've just done a new page on that and there's a new uh, briefing paper that's come out of the methods lab um, on that. So um, that, that's, that's looking in a very systematic way at the feasibility of it and the, and the trade-offs, the cost, you know, the likely benefits and the likely costs. Um, so if, you, if you're looking at a big investment, having a formal evaluability assessment process seems to be a really useful step to do. So that would be one thing. Um, and that's got a whole, it's, 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 a, it's a whole set of steps to work through. Um, and, the, and the question about, again, I think um, um, if you're going to do an impact evaluation, um, there are some designs you have to do that from the start, so from the start of some, some stage. So if you were running a, a program working, again, say with, with, with families or communities, you might do some early pilots to iron out the implementation bumps, get some indicative data saying this seems to be working and then if you were going to do a, an, an RCT, you have to build it in from the start because you have to randomly assign some communities to be involved and some to be your control group. And so you have to build that in then from the start of, of that, that next stage. Um, but even if you're not going to do a, a, an RCT, it's much better to plan your impact evaluation from the start, the, from the start of that stage. Um, if you're going to do <clears throat> comparative case studies or process tracing or some other way of doing it, you're going to need to be collecting that data along the way. You're going to need to get baseline data. Um, so in all of those cases, the, the worst design is the program's finished. Send someone in to do two weeks field work and do a bunch of interviews about what people think were the impacts. Now that's the, <clears throat> that's the weakest design. And you know we we need to do a lot better than that. Um, 